diamonds on me bust I'm ballin' no discussion I tell her shawty bust I tell her shawty bust I fuck her, I don't trust New chopper in this rush We diamonds on me bust I like it had eyes <laughs> I see you kill Okay, series tied up 2-2. Denver Nuggets, I figured it out. They have figured it out. My last video, I was saying that the Minnesota Timberwolves exposed the Denver Nuggets going up 2-0 in the series. On their home court, on Denver Nuggets home court. Playing that altitude, playing in the Mount High Arena. But now, Denver has switched things around in this series. Basically saying, home court advantage does not matter anymore. It doesn't. And they tied the series to 2-2, going back, going back to Denver in Game 5. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Denver Nuggets have exposed the Minnesota Timberwolves' weakness. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's your boy, we we'll back and get with another video. Now, y'all enjoy NBA playoffs, y'all enjoy this kind of content. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Subscribe to the channel because it helps this channel go further and further out there for more NBA playoff commentary, more commentary, more NBA podcast videos I'm dropping for y'all every week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I appreciate y'all all for support. Now, y'all seen the clips earlier. Jokic is getting everything he wants. Now. The first two games, Jokic was getting his buckets, but he was struggling. Okay. Since Rudy Gobert came back, and I know Minnesota won in game one, they did. But a big part in why Minnesota won game one is because Nash Reed was able to spread the floor more, able to get more buckets, and Cat was able to score. Game two, no, no Rudy Gobert. The Minnesota Timberwolves with defense looks better without them. Now we switch back to Minnesota, in which Rudy Gobert is getting exposed. I've been saying it for the past couple of years. This is my opinion. I'm subjected to my opinion. Y'all can comment down below your opinions on this comment I'm about to say. Rudy Gobert is the most overrated defensive player I've ever seen in my life. He's the most overrated player defensively ever. I said it. Ever. Anybody defense player of the year get one block, no steals, five turnovers? Versus the reigning three-time NBA MVP. And Nikola Jokic, Jokic is getting anything he wants. Aaron Gordon is getting anything he wants. And that's the biggest part in this, this series why it's top top. They are able to get Aaron Gordon free. If Aaron Gordon is getting easy buckets in the paint, He's making his shots. He's defending it at a high level. It opens it opens the more things up for the Denver Nuggets offensively, and that's going to be a scary side for Minnesota because Minnesota is going to it had a hard time defending in Game Four. Game Three, it was mostly Jamal Murray and Jokic. Game Four, it was Aaron Gordon. Now they're starting to open everything up. Game Five might be MPJ. If Aaron Gordon is going getting going like that. This is, this is a scary sight for Minnesota because now y'all got to focus more on Aaron Gordon. Now MPJ gets open looks. Now KCP gets open looks. Now Jokic get, gets to get easy buckets for Aaron Gordon at the basket. So it's going to be even harder guarding Jokic now. Nasri, you seen the clip earlier. Nasri was getting frustrated. You see how he was bullying Jokic in game two? Defensively, but game four, things are switched around. And 
in my opinion, like I said, Rudy Gobert is kind of messing Minnesota team up offensively. Defensively, it's a whole collective of things that Minnesota has to work on in game five because Denver has figured things out. Offensively, the the spacing is not much there as it was in game two. Game one, Anthony Edwards is Anthony Edwards, just like he was in game four. There, nobody's going to stop Anthony Edwards. He's going to get what he wants. I don't think – first, I thought Anthony Edwards was a big part in winning the series. I don't think Anthony Edwards is the bigger guy. They, he, he can drop 50 and they're still going to lose. He almost did it last night. It's going to be the spacing of Rudy Gobert and Carfney Towns. Because Carfney Towns was getting going game two, and that's how they blew them out. Obviously, with their defense and tenacity, they just how to blew them out. But you see in game three and game four, Cat didn't really have a good game. Cat has to get going. He has to help out Anthony Edwards. Rudy Gobert has to do something other than stay in the paint and get bulldozed by Jokic and stop turning the ball over. You keep turning the ball over as you're a center, that's going to derail the team offensively. And that's why Denver's getting open looks now. And it's frustrating Minnesota. And Minnesota can't focus defensively because offensively, they can't really get anybody else going other than Anthony Edwards. And that's going to be that's the biggest thing that's happening right now. So Minnesota has to make some adjustments because Rudy Gobert is staying in their way, in my opinion. Denver has figured him out. Then Denver has really figured things out because now they got players that can get going like Aaron Gordon. Now they open things up more. Now Jamal Murray's going to get more open looks. Now MPJ is going to get more open looks. Now Yoke is going to dive to anybody else that's in the corner open from three or that's coming to the paint like Aaron Gordon is. Minnesota has a hard task in game five. My opinion, Minnesota has to win game five. They have to. They don't win game five. I'm not going to say the series is over because they go back in game six at home. But, again, there's no home court advantage no more. None. And even they win game six, you don't want to come back to game seven in, in, in Denver. That, that high altitude, you don't want to do that. So, Anthony Edwards, keep doing your thing. You you, you playing like the superstar you are. Cat, you have to step up. You have to step up. And I think Rudy Gobert getting your way is kind of – that's why when they first made that trade, that's why a lot of people question that straight because the spacing is not there. You see that right now. Game two, Cat was hooping without Rudy Gobert. Game three and four, not so much because Rudy Gobert came back. Rudy Gobert, you better be a, a force defensively since you won another defensive player of the year. You better be a force in game five because you're not spooky. That's all I got to say for this video. But yo, Joy, give me a boy, subscribe channel for new. Comment down below what kind of adjustments Minnesota Timberwolves should make in game five. And what Denver should do in game five also. Without further ado, it's being a boy, Will, and I'm out.